so, girls, as long as you've got a husband and 17 kids, your life will be filled with happiness and joy. I just can't agree more. As soon as I pushed my husband down the steps, my life has never been happier. Good morrow, me old fried bread products. Now don't adjust your computer screen, because we don't need your newfangled colour technology for this tutorial. It's black and white for a reason, as we're going to be doing an old school dipping ink pen tutorial. So boop boop ba doop all the way over here. Now before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the materials that you use. Of course you're going to need one of these old school ink pens. Now the good thing about these is that the barrel is actually separate from the nib, so you can just take it out and... Well this is a quite a thin nib that I have here, but I've got four more. I think this one's the thickest one I have. See, it's that one's pointed and that one's... And I've got a chisel tip. And there's another one with a slightly more chisely than the other one, but it's thinner. That that one's my favourite one to use, I think. Because it's a bit more... Well, because I've broken this one in. Because I've been drawing it with it the most. Or inking, rather. And I think this one's my thinnest one, I think. And it's in a, diff it's a bit of a different shape to the other ones. Because most of them... Look a bit. The shape on that one's a bit different. That one's just goes straight up. These ones are actually quite similar. It's just the shape that's different. They they handle similarly. And of course you're going to need ink. I've just got this Fleischer-esque ink bottle, Windsor and Newton, which is quite appropriate because the character we're going to be inking today is called Mr. Windsor, except he's got a D in his name. Just Windsor. Oh, and the best thing about the bottle is got a spider in a top hat. It's like they made this ink especially for me. There's also a smaller ink bottle as well. As this one. The squidgy thing on the top here is like. If I can open it. Oh. Out from the ink well comes Coco the clown. Oh. I'm disappointed, there's no clown coming out. Well, only if it's Coco, all of the clowns scare me, but anyway, this is like, um, you pick ink up with it, and you can put it back into your little one, or you can just, just pick, ink, pick up ink out of this. But I've always liked the style of these ink bottles, so. Yeah, black Indian ink. Highly recommended. And of course you're not only limited to black ink, there's also brown ink, and I've got some yellow and red and blue ink. And I've also got a different type, that's a waterproof ink, but it's not as good as this one. The other one has got a Chinese dragon on it. This one's got the spider. I, very, I recommend the one with the spider. Now for inking with these types of barrel pens. Let me just get a nib to show you. As I usually start with the my thick chisel-ended nib. Just put it in there. And you can see there's the camera gets in. There are two slots to put it in. So you can put it in that way or that way. It depends which if it's going to hold or not. If it just slides in, then it's going to fall out like that, but... An easy way to check if it's going to... If it's not going to fall or not is just to press on it and... If it if it feels loose, if you can shake it and it doesn't fall out and it doesn't feel loose and you're going like that, then it's good. And the reason I choose the, the thick kind of chisel nib is because I do, I do the outlines first. And then I go in and do the, the inside lines with one of the thinner nibs. So that's the good thing about that. And we're going to be colouring Old Windy. Old Mr. Windy Windsor. Which is very appropriate for colouring this one as it's all in black and white. He was probably born out of an inkwell. As he's so old school, literally. He's a headmaster. Now the proper way to dip it in is to 